my side so here is uh, the third video I'm presenting and it's the master bedroom so perhaps slightly the wrong order but here we go so first thing I want to point out is um, you have given me a depth between the inside of the doors to the back wall of 515 I believe and that's where I've set this door <clears throat> now that is quite a narrow or oh, shallow wardrobe and you can see these are jackets and shirt sleeves um, you can see in my model that they are breaking through the door let's let's just consider that in a bit more detail so here you can see what I mean and let's just check that measure for us inside of a door to that back wall five one you know six ish millimeters not gonna make a lot of difference that is pretty narrow for a wardrobe I you know when I'm designing a wardrobe I aim for a minimum of five five zero that even that is pretty tight so that's a little bit of an issue now the alpha system puts its hanging rails at a set distance away the hanging rail is from that center to the back wall I believe it's about 27 centimeters so that you can see that the clothes are nearer the doors than they are nearer the back wall now I suspect that may be a problem in your master bedroom wardrobe one way around that is to forget the alpha mounting system high up and have a rail passing straight through in exactly the center plane so that your clothes are touching the back wall and they are also touching the doors but they are not projecting nearer the doors than the back wall as they would if we used the alpha position I hope that's reasonably clear what I'm saying is that there is a partial solution to having these clothes very very close to the doors to the inside face of the doors um, it might be that we don't have any alpha high up and we concentrate we have a straight through rail and we concentrate on doing clever things with the alpha low down so let's hide those doors for now and talk about other areas of this space so I'm going to hide those doors and here we have um, the full alpha assembly okay. so I think I explained in the spare bedroom video that I've gone for a 45 centimeter wide standard bay at the extreme left and extreme right and you have a non-standard bay in the middle now given the door opening you've shown me in the master bedroom this is going to allow these drawers to pull out and fully open um, and we end up with this non-standard width in the middle so we can't use gliding components here um, we can use gliding components like shoe racks and baskets at the extreme left and extreme right I've started to indicate how if you wanted you could create double hanging um, in any of these bays not just this one but again given what I've said about the difficulties with this rail position it might be that a standard top rail is worth it there are some other ideas we can look at which I'll show you it might be that we move away from alpha for the master bedroom but certainly the bottom half of what I'm showing you here is is a workable solution let's just uh, get rid of a bit more of that room go into a section view and you can see a little bit more clearly there so um, as with the spare bedroom I suggested using a lipped shelf in the middle here that can be divided up it's good for small items folded items you've got your base for gliding components here and here you could also create some additional hanging in the middle I think that's perhaps all I can say about that one